Your heart rate is a direct indicator of how long you are going to live. Now in the animal kingdom, the animals with the highest heart rates have the shortest lives, and the ones with the slowest heart rates have the longest lives. For example, the Galapagos turtle has a resting heart rate of only 6 beats per minute, and it lives a whopping 177 years. Now it's impossible for humans to get a resting heart rate of 6 beats per minute, but 50 beats per minute is attainable. Now the average human heart rate is between 60 and 100 beats per minute, with most people's running around the range of 70 to 75 beats per minute. So what is the potential increased risk of mortality if say you have a resting heart rate of 75 as opposed to a resting heart rate of say 50? Well from what I've read, it indicates your mortality goes up by about 51% with a resting heart rate of 75. Now, if your resting heart rate goes up over 80 beats per minute, it suddenly becomes a whopping 200% higher risk of mortality over that of someone with a resting heart rate of only 50 beats per minute. And that is downright scary. But on the positive note, today on Fit and 50, we are going to talk about how we can lower our resting heart rate to improve our longevity. Now the first way we are going to talk about is cardio. Now cardio is not the only thing you need to do to lower your resting heart rate, but it's a great place to start. Now of course, if you have an elevated heart rate, it would be a good idea to talk to your doctor and make sure that you qualify to be able to do vigorous exercise. Then after that, if you're not used to training intensely, take a little bit of time to work your way up to intense training. Now when it comes to heart efficiency, interval training is king. So whether you're doing some form of HIIT training, or you're doing my dumbbell Tabata workouts, or you're doing a more traditional type of interval training, like running or cycling, where you're doing 30 seconds of all-out effort with 30 seconds of rest, slowly building up that all-out effort till you're doing like a minute and a half of all-out effort to a minute and a half or less rest, alternating that eight or nine times will give you a really good hit style workout to improve your heart efficiency. The next thing we want to look at is diet. For example, if you don't have enough potassium in your diet, it can cause muscle weakness and heartbeat irregularities. So you want to make sure you have enough potassium rich foods in your diet like bananas, spinach, and sweet potato. We need 270 to 400 milligrams of magnesium a day to aid in proper heart function. Now great sources of magnesium are pumpkin and sunflower seeds as well as beans and lentils. Fiber helps lower cholesterol and it's recommended that we get over 25 grams of fiber a day. Actually, if you're a man, it's recommended you get over 30 grams of fiber a day and that's a lot of fiber. Again, beans and lentils are great sources of fiber, as well as fruits such as raspberries and blackberries. Omega-3 fatty acids have a lot of benefits when it comes to the heart, including regulating heartbeat. Now we always think of fish when we think of omega-3 fatty acids, but there's also omega-3s in foods like flax seeds and walnuts. We need to de-stress in order to lower our resting heart rate. And I'm sure we can all agree, it's important to take time to relax. But sometimes, that's easier said than done. When we get a massage, it can lower our resting heart rate by as much as 8 beats per minute. Meditation and deep breathing techniques work well also. When it comes to deep breathing, it may very well be the best technique for relaxing and lowering our heart rate, as it can be done anytime any place. When we breathe, it affects our whole body. And when we breathe deeply, it sends a message to the brain to calm down and relax, lowering not only our heart rate, but our blood pressure also. Belly breathing is one of the easiest techniques to learn and use to help us relax and lower our heart rates. So typically, when you do the belly breathing technique, you'd sit down or lie down. Then you take one hand, put it on your stomach, just below your rib cage, and the other hand would go on your chest. Then you'd breathe in deeply through your nose 
and exhale slowly out through your lips, kind of like it's in a whistle position, kind of like this. So your belly should rise, but your chest should stay the same. And then you would do that for three to 10 times and then see how your body feels. So our heart rate is a good indicator of our overall health as well as our ability to have a long and active life. And we can improve this not only through diet, but also through our training and working out, as well as having fun. And of course, this is Lawrence from Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out, keep having fun, and we will talk to you again in that next video.